recording and Okay, this is the next topic that we are going to talk about in C programming. It is C pointer. I would say that pointer is very important in C programming because if you refer to the address of the variables or, or even for the function, right? Um, actually, if you want to become the master of C programming, you may have to know how to use the C pointer very well. Okay, so the objectives of this uh, module will be starting from the, the definition of the pointers and the pointer operators. Right? And the objective is the student can use pointer to pass arguments to function by reference. It's important, but today I will um, review you back about the function argument and how to pass argument to function by value. And also we will talk about pass by reference as well. That will be related to the pointers that we are talking about today. And the cross relationship among pointers, arrays and strings, they are the same kinds actually, right? And to use pointer to function. And the last one is to define and use array of string. This is the objectives of this today's study. And this is the outlines of the things or the topics that we will talk about. First of all, I have to introduce you the pointer. What does it mean? Actually, pointer is just an address in physical memory, in primary, uh, in physical memory, right? Um, normally when you use a variable, right? You don't have to know the address or the, the pointer to that variable, right? You can just simply define it, right? And you can use it. For example, if you want to um, define an array, oh uh, no, define an integer, right? Integer. And then if you um, bind this um, address, right? Is the integer, x is integer. If you uh, assign three, to x, right? So it means that we are going to, to press or to store three, right? In this variable x. And you don't have to know the address of the x in physical memory. But now if you want to master in C programming, you have to know the address. You can refer to the address. And Pointer is very powerful, but difficult to master as I just told you, right? But actually it's not that difficult. And the pointer can simulate by call, a uh, call by reference for in function that we are going to talk about. And then we have the course relationship with arrays and strings, right? String is some um, array of character. I've told you that right? string is, is an array of character, but an array is um actually it is um can refer to as a pointer. Okay. Um, simply speaking, when we talk about pointer, right? It would be refer to the address of something or address of a variable. For this example, maybe x is, the address of x is at a, b, c, low, c, low, something like this. This is the way that we will uh, reference to or refer to the address of integer. But this is an example, okay? And normally we will write it in terms of the hexadecimal address, right? Okay. okay, when we talk about the pointer, first of all, you have to think about it as an address. Any question? Okay, if you don't have any question, I will go a step a bit further for the pointer variable definitions. 
if you want to define a pointer variables, right? What does it mean by pointer variables? Pointer variables, they will contain memory address as their value, okay? It, it will store the memory address. As I just told you that when you define integer, x is an integer, right? You can define in C like this integer x. And then when you assign x to, or uh, assign x with three, right? Three will be placed or stored in this memory. But something that we didn't tell you that when you declare x as an integer, right? You have to allocate a physical memory, physical memory for this integer. What is the size of the integer? Four bytes, four, four bytes. Okay, so the system will have to find the allocated memory by the free memory, actually. For example, I this AB00 is a free memory. And this is the address, memory address of this variable, integer x. Normal variables contain a specific value, direct reference, okay? Normal variable like integer x, right, contain a specific value. In this case, it's three. Quieters contain address of variable. Quieter contain address. So in this case, it is a, b, zero, zero, for example. Okay, so in order to get a specific value from the address, we can call indirect reference. Indirect reference. We have direct reference. Direct reference means uh, if you have x is a variable, x is exactly or x is actually three, right? It is direct reference. But if you want to get the value that is stored in this address a b zero zero, we call it indirect reference. So in direct uh, in direction or uh, indirect referencing, we call the indirection. We sometimes call referencing a pointer value. Okay, this would be the a good um figure that will represent how to uh how to show the differences between the pointer variable and, and the variable pointer, the pointer. For this example, if you define uh, a variable count and count stores seven as its value, right? Contain the value seven. And we also have a count pointer. Count pointer will reference to, will refer to the address of count, which is a variable, right? Pointer count Call PTR indirectly references a variable that contains the value seven. This is the meaning of pointer. This is a pointer. As it name pointer, point to somewhere, point to an address. Pointer will point to address of a variable. Okay, do you understand? Okay, next. Then here we come to the pointer definitions. If you want to define a pointer, you can use asterisk or star symbol, right? You can use it as a pointer variable. For this example, integer, my pointer. This is the way that you are going to define a pointer to an integer. Pointer to an integer. So my pointer, my PTR is an 
at this. Actually, I cannot say is n. I can say that is this one store. Yes, stores and address. Store and address. Okay, and my pointer will be available. That is a pointer to an integer. You define a pointer to an integer. Multiple pointers require using a star or asterisk sign before each variable definition. For this example, my pointer one, my pointer two, right? you have to define asterisk here. But if you forget to put them asterisk, it will be like my PTR tree, right? This one will not be a pointer, it will be an integer. Okay. Pointer can define pointers to any data type. We can define pointers to any data type. Okay, pointer to integer, pointer to double, pointer to character. Okay, that's so you can define. Or pointer to structure. Okay. We can initialize pointer to zero or now or an address. This one, if you want to initialize pointer to um, by default, right? You can use this one in U W L now. Now, right? So you will point to the pointer address at zero, zero location, and say zero, zero, zero. But this is now, because now it's self-defined as zero. Well, we have the asterisk sign or SATA sign, and we also have the address or N sign, M percent. But M percent will refer to the address of, of something, right? For this example, if you define, if you declare Y is an integer and its value is five, and you are going to define a pointer to Y, Right, you can define it as an integer star and y pointer. Right, if you want to point y pointer to the address of y, right, you can simply you can just simply write this y pgr is equal to n y and means a pointer or the address of y m percent y is an address of why? Or basically, you can say that why p to r points to y. Why p to r point to y? Okay, this one is very is clear. Okay, this is a um, very good uh, example of how to show the pointer operator, right? Okay, in the previous slide, we defined integer y is equal to five, right? And integer y pointer, right? And then in order to get this, right, you can just use y p t r is equal to an address of y. So y PTR will point to y. And do you want to know what will be stored in y and what will be stored in y PTR or y pointer? The value that is stored in y is five because you assign five to y, right? So the address y, right, the value of y is five. And the location of y is six zero 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 zero. Okay, six hundred thousand. So the value that is kept in y p t r is six hundred thousand. 
even the location is 500,000, but the value that is kept or is stored in Y pointer is the same value as the location of Y. The location of Y. Okay, do you get the point? This slide is very important. If you understand this slide very well, so you understand Python. That is very easy. Python is very easy. Don't make, don't confuse yourself, okay? Okay, up to here, do you have any question about Python? Python is just an address. And why is a variable? Why pointer? Normally you will have to, if you want to refer to a Y pointer, you can just simply define it like this, like Y P T R. And you can see that this is um if you want to uh, declare a variable, but you have to start with a small letter. And then if you go to the next, if you want to have more than syllable or more than words, more than one word in your variable, right? You have to use capital letter in between, um, in a way. This sound we can call Camille notation. Do you know Camille? Ooh, yeah. Camille notation is like, if you want to know, or if you want to, or you can see that, ooh, the, the Camille we have, What do you call this? Right. This, this part of the, this is an organ of the camel, right? That is you, the, the camel will keep the water in the desert, right? Okay, this is a camel notation because we have some kinds of like this in between. And do you have to capitalize the, the first character of for each word? Okay, we call Camille notation. Okay, this is a pointer operator because we have two, two operators for pointer. The first one is star or asterisk and the next, and another one is um, ambassador that is M. Asterisk and ambassador. Suppose, suppose you have Y pointer, right? This is an indirect, indirection or the referencing operator, star sign, right? Star sign will return a synonym or alias of what it operand points to. What does this mean? It means that if you use star Y PTR, Y PTR, Y pointer is a pointer to Y, right? But it is an address, but, but if you want to return the value of YPTR, you can just use SATA sign. So it will return Y, which is a value of Y. Because YPTR points to Y. And this one is the referencing. The referencing means you will get the value that is stored in this location. Once again, this one. YPTR, you keep the address, right? Address of Y. But when you put star, ของครูเรียกภาษาไทยนะครูจะเรียกตลกๆว่าถ้าตอกไม้เอาใส่ดอกไม้เข้าไปพอใส่ดอกไม้เข้าไปปุ๊บ when you use this one, right? to the pointer you will get the value of no. the value of something that is uh, at, at this at this. We call this process is the referencing, but when you use asteroid to the pointer, you will get the value. Sata sign or asterisk can be used for assignment as well. But right? if you want to 
store a value at the location y pointer. You can use star y ptr is equal or uh, is assigned is equal to seven, right? Y will change to seven. This is called the referencing quarter. And star sign is the referencing pointer. Ampersand or and sign will be inwards, right? They cancel each other. Okay, you can see this example, this pointer operator, if you can have the chance, a chance to write this program, right? So in this program, when we start from main, we have integer A and then we declare at uh, a pointer A, P, T, R, right? And then we assign A to seven and then A, P, T, R, point two, a, right, A is seven. Okay, if you want to make sure or guarantee that you understand this well, you have to, I suggest you to write something to, to draw, right? So from this, right, it can be changed to this figure. Okay, when you print out this, this right? If you want to print at this, right, you can use percent size P. If a pointer point to A, then at this A and A pointer have the same value. Okay, now we set A pointer to the address of A at the line 11. And then address of A is P, right? At percent size P, address of A. And also A pointer points to A as well. So these two value will be the same, right? A address A and A pointer have the same value. And this one is the referencing. A is a value of A, right? And this one is the address or the, the value of A, the pointer to A. This is the value of A, right? So if you print value of A, right? And they are the same. And this one is, you want to, value of address and show address. So if you show address, And this one is address of pointer and the value of address, right? Okay, so the first one you print, you print the address, right? Address and this one you print the address, and this one you print the value at this address. And the last one, you show the address of this value. This will be address. And this one is you show the value of the address of a pointer. So it will show the same thing. That is a value of the address to A or A pointer. Okay. Do you understand? Do you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, do you have any question up to now before we we'll go to the next topic? Uh, can you explain again about the uh, 
uh, the ambition and the star and the star and ambition. Fine, makes sense. Okay, just think like this. Okay, if I define integer a, right, integer a, and if I want to define another variable that is a pointer, okay, and then I assign a to five, and I want a pointer to point to the same address of A. So I use A PGI is equal to address of A. In C programming, I will not say this is a and. I will say that this is, I will call this address of A. Okay, this is the first thing that you may have to know. And asterisk or star sign, right? It will be used to convert from address to a value. In this example, if I want to, to change the value of A, what can I do? <coughs> if I want to change A to seven, how can I do? Easy way I use A is equal to seven, or I use star A P T R equal to seven. Am I right? Star star you change a pointer to a value. This one is pointer. This one will be a value. So you can see that, if, if, if you don't believe me, right? You can see this one, A, A is integer, and star A, P, C, R is also integer as well. Can you see? Okay, just remember this one, use ampersand when you want to get the address of a value. And if you want to use to change an address, you want to know the value of this address, you can use SATA APGR. Okay, again, integer A. Okay, maybe I change integer x, and then I want to define a pointer, x pointer, right? I use star. So x, p, t, r is a pointer. When we say that it's a pointer, so a, p, t, r will keep only the address in main memory. x, p, t, r is just a, an address. And this way, if you want to connect these two variables together, you can just simply use x, p, t, r, x pointer is equal to address of x, address of x. So now x, p, t, r, x, p, t, r will point to x. And when x is assigned to five, then what will we show in star x p t r? If I use print f percent sign d, right? X uh, an asterisk star x p t r. What will be printed? What will be printed? Five. That is the value that is kept in this address, XPDR is point to an address, maybe 600,000, okay, 600,000. But when you use star here, it will change from address to, 
change from address if you use star, right? It will be value. Okay, but this one is very this one is easier. And from value, if you want to change it to address, you can use ambassade. Okay, this symbol is easier. Sometimes value and I, I, I bet it's better to use variable. Okay, variable. If you want to change from address to value or variable, you can use the star. But if you want to get the address of a variable, you can use ambassador. Do you get the point? And this one, this one is are too complicated. Maybe you just forget about this for, for a while. If you are a master in pointer, you can come back to, to see this. Okay. Okay, I will go to the next slide. Um, this is important as well, right? Maybe I need to stop. 